I do agree that it is surprising. It needs to be investigated. Who slipped up? Why this negligence? You are really asking people to believe that this all happened without the knowledge of the intelligence services and the military and that it came as a complete surprise. Yes, yes, I'm saying that. And I mean every word of it. It's just very hard to believe that Osama bin Laden could have spent all this time in Pakistan living right under your noses and nobody would have known about it. <laughs> Why are you continuously saying that? I think instead of wasting time on this issue, let us agree to disagree on this point. I don't agree. The general also disagreed with us when we interviewed him on 60 Minutes in 2008. We pressed him on what Pakistan was doing to find bin Laden. This is what he told us then. There is no proof whatsoever that he is here. And today? I don't remember at all having said that he surely will not be in Pakistan. You said there was no proof that he was in Pakistan. Yes, there was no proof, obviously. Those who were saying that he's in Pakistan, I don't think he was, he, they were talking with any evidence. General Musharraf vigorously defended Pakistan's past efforts to track down al-Qaeda leaders. We have achieved such successes and that should be recognized. If we continuously keep blaming the army and the ISI for what they have not been able to do, well, if they haven't been able to do, then it has CIA's failure also. Do you know of any other terrorist leaders wanted by the United States that are sheltering in your country? Well, there may be more. There may be. Yes. Al-Qaeda's number two, Ayman al-Zawahiri, and Taliban leader Mullah Omar are just two of the senior terrorist leaders believed to be based inside Pakistan. Katie. Thera Logan in Washington. Lara, thank you.